All right, so I'm working on the Jeep today and trying to diagnose a problem I'm having with the blower. So I wanted to show you how to use a test light, auto test light. It's pretty simple. It's got a probe on one end. Inside this plastic is a light with a wire coming out of it. The wire leads just to this alligator clip back there. And you just want to attach it to something that's bare metal so that it uh, grounds it out and gives you a good test. So basically on this, I'll try to zoom out a little bit here, but on this uh, fuse box here, you can sit there all day and pull fuses out and put them back in to, to check to see if they're blown or not. But uh, I, it's easier to use one of these and so if you'll notice when I uh, put it on one side of the fuse, the test light comes on. And you can do that to each of the fuses. Each fuse has a little piece of metal that comes up on both sides. And you can probe each of those sides and see if you've got a little bit of current going through there. Now I know that this fuse right here is for the blower because it actually has it labeled. And when I probe that one, neither side will light up. And so I can, that's a good indicator that it's blown. So if I go ahead and pull that one out, we'll take a look at it real quick here. It's a 25 amp fuse and you can see that the metal strip in the middle, that tiny little piece is gone. What it should look like, there's some new ones, that little metal piece that kind of curls up, that's all together. So obviously that fuse is creating an issue where it's not sending a current to the actual uh, motor and blower. So we'll go ahead and replace that. Um, that's probably not the only problem with the blower, but I'm gonna show you in a couple other videos. Number one, how you can take out the switch and diagnose any other problems that you might have with your assembly. Thanks for watching.